first of all, let's get this stream. How are we all doing, everyone? Try again. No. No, not yet. Start in just a minute. I'm gonna get this stream up on my tablet. There. this over a bit. Cables in the way. Yeah, I'm just going to start recording as well so I can get some cool, uh, some cool shots. Recording. Is this a good enough angle for everyone? All right, just making sure. Can you see me okay? Yeah, it seems fine. I can see most of this. So I'll do this one first. So we're gonna be unboxing some Ogami paper from Paper Circle. Don't already know, they make one of the best papers ever and it's super cool. Um, welcome everyone, Hacktan, Vern, uh, Wesley, Pe Pe Penelope, um, Zika, welcome. Um, oh, I'm not sure what that comment says. If you'd comment in English, that would be brilliant. Yeah, it's been quite a while since I, li I last live streamed. And yeah, before Penny's accident. Oh, I can't wait to open this. See what we have. So yeah, I'm gonna jump straight into it. I don't wanna waste time. Um yeah, I'm gonna savor this moment as well. So we've got two of these. This is the first one. Um second one we'll open up after the first. That's right here. Um so lots of paper inside. Now I've been, I've had them for a while. I've um, been curious to see um, what's inside. I can't remember exactly what I ordered, um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Who do we have in the chat? Who is watching today or tonight? So big tube this time. Normally it's a small one, so I only ordered a few last time. Oh, where the hell? So it'll be much cooler and um, the scenery will be much better uh, once this is all opened. So inside here we have the order I ordered first and um, I had to mark uh, number one on it. So I uh, wanted to take everyone off to tell the difference but um, the paper I ordered first it originally took a while to arrive, about three months and then I messaged the paper circle back and forth um, just for updates on this parcel and they didn't have any, then I just kept letting them know like every week or so that it still hasn't arrived. Then they kindly enough sent another full order, which is the second parcel, um, to compensate for this if it didn't arrive. Um, this arrived not long after they sent it, and then uh, the third one, the second one arrived uh, a few days ago. Uh, but of course they didn't want any extra payment for it, and I did uh, Asked them if they wanted a payment for it, which I'd be happy to pay for, but they did not want that, they just wanted lots of shout outs and um, good reviews. So, again, yeah, ready to to open this up. Is this a good enough angle? Do you have handy paper? Yes, I do, Rigel. Um, I've got, I've literally got so much paper upstairs there. Yeah. I mean, my room isn't a room, it's more like 
a workshop now. That's, that's legitimately what it's like. So, yeah, I've got Hanji, I've got Wenzel, I've got Unrayu, I've got Mulberry, I've got Gampy. I mean, I just, I just like to collect paper. That is what I love doing. So if you've just joined, this is the first of two parcels. There are two. Again, make sure to go and check out the website. It's linked at the very top of this video. Check out their shop, check out their paper. Extremely unique. You've all heard of um, Ogami. I've only ever bought two sheets before. Now I decided I would buy a lot more to help support them and um, build my collection. I don't think I need the scissors. Build my collection on on paper, uh, on Ogami. Uh, welcome Brian, welcome to the stream. Um, and washi paper, yes I have washi. I think I do, yeah. I think I do have washi. Okay, it's froze on my tablet, so just to make sure. Yeah, you can still see it, so there we go. Now, I also ordered a special custom sheet, which is the option they have. You, you purchase that and then you tell them um, all the colours that you would like to have in the paper, whether you want it matte or shiny, um, thickness. But yeah, quick look. Can you see that? Right, really, I'm going to just check it first, make sure there's not an address on it. Yes, it does. Okay. So I can open. I can open it this way. Then I'll need to uh, take off the packaging and um, uh, cut out the, the the invoice. But that's what it looks like. I think this is my custom sheet at the very top. Yeah, that's the address, which is fine. So it comes in this. Those tubes that they post in are extremely solid. They are well packed. So my address is on the other side of this uh, invoice, so I won't show you the other side first. Or just now, but this is what it's like. All that paper, this is so cool. I can't wait to see what we have in store here. I can't remember what I ordered because it was a few months ago. Okay, let me take out this. Wait, I need the scissors, where did I put them? Wait. Pardon me, how are we all doing everyone? What time is it for everyone? Where are we from? It's been so long since I last streamed. Then they also send out another little sample as well. Is the camera angle good enough? Yeah. Wow. So many colours. I mean, you can literally pick the the option to let them know what you would like. It's so nice. Right, there's a stuck. Let's take this off camera first bit there, because my address is on it. And, and yeah, can you use shadow fold? Yes, I have used shadow fold. I used that quite a lot when I first started folding. Yeah, it's extremely good paper. Voice is out. Um, yeah, obviously out the packaging. Let me double check just in case something inside. No, there's not. Okay. So should I bring down the 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 angle? Is this a, is this a good enough angle to see? I think it is. Um, hey Ted, welcome to the stream. Radio uh, love from Axum. Awesome. That's amazing. Okay, so, quick look, we can see it better now from this position. What do you think already? 
and it is, if you didn't already know, um, paper circle, um, the paper that they create are not cut square, they are not cut perfectly square, they're not even cut, they're just made and then obviously the size that they're made from is what is given to you. So, let's see, I can get rid of this, that's actually just a bit of paper. So how cool is that? So many colours, which I think this is the one I ordered. Yeah, wow. <laughs> that is beautiful already. Wait, is the, is the video still playing for you? Um, just because it's frozen on my tablet. Yeah, I ordered a bunch of colours. And it's, it's nice that they've even um, included the colour the thickness and if it's matte or molted. I need something to hold it down. Um, I don't have anything on me. Yeah. Yep. And you get a really nice size as well. Holding itself, maybe not. Such unique colours. Right. How, how, how are we going to show this easily enough? This is going to be tricky. Is there a double colour sheet? Um, I don't think in this batch. Um, when they sent me the free sample a few months ago, um, there's a, there is a double coloured um, on that. But I could easily stick two together to get a, a double colour. Yeah, I need to think of a way to show this better. It's not too late. Not too late. Will the scissors hold it together? That's not going to work. Um, and I need to find, find, wait, 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 I need to go and get something to hold the paper. Where's my little stands? Here's one. Where's the other ones? Um, where are they? I can't, where are they? Hmm. Did I put some I need to clean out my shaping drawer uh, very badly. Yeah, I don't want to include scissors near this paper. So that'll do. Wait, I'm just going to lower this camera. Okay, so yeah, I'm not really sure how I'm going to show each sheet, and I think I'll just take off one by one, and then yeah, I think that's the best way, because because it's obviously been wrapped up for quite a while, the, the tension in the paper is just going to make it curl just like that. Pog, <laughs> thank you, thank you, Evan. 
Uh, Ewan? Ewan? Oh god, I'm so sorry for, if I pronounce your name incorrect. I always do that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, no. Are you Scottish? Yes. Is it because you can't understand the thing that I'm saying? That it has to be, has to be Scottish? But yeah, so what colour do we have here? So if you've got any recommendations for models as I show the paper, then let me know. So we have the whale blue colour. Now, um, let me see. Um, okay, also the colours won't be the absolute best in this video. I am recording uh, in 4K on my other camera, um, just to get more cooler shots. I will, of course, take a ton of pictures of this as well and share it everywhere over the next few days to see in that actual colour. Uh, so you can see what's so uh, so you can see what's mu uh, like uh, much better. Um, no, he is Spanish. Espanol. Did you ever make uh, the Europe test by Satoshi Kimia? Uh, I don't think so. I, I can't even picture what that model is. So the whale blue. Now all all the sheets I ordered are the thinnest sheets that they sell, uh, which which is labelled thin. They're all thin. Every single one. Um, which has about 22 GSM, so if you don't want to go any thicker than that for models, then obviously don't go uh, by thicker, but it's entirely up to you, depending on the thickness that you need. So I think that's fine for the first one. Did they send you the thickest paper, 207? How does it feel? I want to fold with the African elephant or the bison by Shuki Castle. No, though, I've never ordered the, the thickest sheet before. So I'm I'm not sure how that, that uh, the thickness is. I've never ordered with that before. So what do we have here? We have jet black. Right, I'm really curious to see this custom sheet as well. So again, jet black, such a nice sheet. Bye, Uncle. It's awesome for joining. Thank you so much for joining, Virgil. It's so crispy as well. Very crispy. Yeah, I definitely think I'll just open one of them at the moment. which is a really vibrant green, the spring green. Um, you should try making Eric Giselle's orchestra. That would be nice. What colour should I use? I don't think I've ever made a Giselle model before. Again, the spring green is even thinner. This would actually be perfect for a coat insect. His leaf insect. And if you've never used this paper before, definitely give it a shot. Buy a, a, a sheet or two, test it out, see what it's like. This is much thinner. You can tell because of the different the thicknesses on the paper. Because it's handmade, it is, of course, uneven thickness throughout the entire sheet. Again, oh, this is stunning. I'm, I'm scared to even use this for something it's like it um do you have any luster color to show i think the sheet that i asked them to custom make is luster colored so i can show you that in a second i'm sure it is but let me check the invoice let me double check Four. 
I have uh, four sheets of Gloucester and this. Let me see if I have. I don't say. Wait. Whale blower. Let me check that for so whale blower. Yeah, whale blue is luster. This is a luster one. Again, I'll show um, pictures for all these sheets because the quality, obviously, from live streaming isn't the best. Um, but yeah, it's probably not the best colour to show the luster on. Let me see the invoice. Wait, wait, wait. My. No, the, the sheet that I ordered special isn't... Wait. No, the sheet I ordered isn't luster, the special one. This is... I don't see on that. So we have the deep... Something green. Make it round boys, I can't read out that right now. Again. Even though, the, even though this has the same thickness as the previous light green one, it feels slightly thicker because it's completely handmade. Um, so thin. Yeah, I definitely need to stick two together. I need something for a fish, by far. Shade of blues, that is the colour that I decided to go with. What do we have here? A midnight green. So, what do you think so far? Again, I'm so happy I got this paper. I just even though I may not use it all, I will use it a lot, but I do like to collect paper. You could definitely say I am a collector of paper. Um, 100%. Hopefully you can see this okay. Again, there will be lots of pictures. High quality pictures to come. And um, what is your favourite origami? Hmm. Really hard to say. Um, I do like the Miyamoto clown, no, the, the Grim Reaper, simply because I think the phone sequence is extremely fun and it has zero prefeast for such a, a highly complex model. So what do we have? This is, this is a nice one. Uh, the light terracotta. This could be for a pig, maybe. I think that would be really nice for a pig, 100%. I mean, is it a light terracotta is like a light brown? Maybe it's a light pink? No, it looks, it would look really nice as a pink, I think. But yeah, ASMR moment. It's just so, so light. And this is the thin as well, the matte. Also maybe use a, a creamish colour paper for the orchestra figure and a brown for the instruments. Yeah, definitely. Again, I could even use this, but I would need to definitely try and practice um, quite a lot before using the paper. Um, of course, I've only got one sheet, I wouldn't want to ruin it. I need to practice and figure out all the shaping, etc. Next we have the, the dark terracotta. So the dark cat terracotta. I think I've got a sheet of this upstairs. Uh, I think this is one of the two I ordered months and months ago. Oh, the very first time. Then you'll get loads of progress pictures after this. Much better quality. I just wanted to unbox it, um, see it for the first time, share the, the excitement, the feeling. Uh, this is matte as well. Again, it's so crisp, so thin. 
What could I use this for? An insect, maybe? The hardest part is deciding what to use uh, for each sheet. Um, do you have any luck? Yeah, I've just read that. Works of Toshikimiya 3. Um, book at stands. Yeah, definitely. I've got that book if you're asking that. Uh, how much do you reckon you've spent on origami paper throughout your life? Wall. Do, do you want a, an, honest, an honest answer? <laughs> I'll give you a few minutes. Espresso. Espresso colour. So a really dark, rich brown. What to do with this? What to use with this? I think this is the luster. It looks like it. Let me see. Yep. So the luster, it's really hard to see. Um, is really it has lots of shiny bits, like microscopic tiny bit uh, spots and dots of shines. And it's really. Let me see if I can see it on this. Oops. Um, I don't think you can. It's hard to see because I've got the, the the evening screen on my phone, so the the, the colours are much uh, warmer than what you actually uh, what what I can see from the screen. That makes sense, but yeah, the luster is is a shiny type. Again, I've got lots of pictures of this um, showing it all. So maybe use that cream machine. Yeah, right, okay. The dark green is very nice. Perfect for a dino. Yeah. Um, I, I need to make the, the dino from Shuki's book. I can't remember the name of it. The one with that. Um, the colour changed head. That's the reason why I haven't made paper for it. Because the head is colour changed. Um, um, what was I going to say? Yeah, it's colour changed. And if I use paper that I make, one side will be normal. The other side will be shiny, so it will have a shiny head. So I've been looking for paper that doesn't have a shine. Of course, one of these would definitely work, I think. Yeah, 100% this one, the dark green. Or the other green. But what do we have here? We have, this is a stunning colour, a walnut. A walnut colour. How beautiful is this? Oh, love it. Um, good evening Grant, uh, hello Grant, how are you? Hey, hey Hack Fan, welcome for joining, I am doing fantastic, how are you? I'm opening up more origami paper, how, how can I get better than this? So we have, this is um, matte, so no shine on this. Again, it would look nice uh, as a dino, I think. It's got that sort of vibe to it. I also need paper for that koala by Palazzo. Um, I need that as well. Wait, does it say the custom order on the sheet? I'm not sure, I think so. No, I think it's this one, uh, the next one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the next one. And the cool thing is, oh, they they showed themselves making it on Instagram. Um, I've got, I've recorded the footage. I think that this is the sheet that they made for me. Um, because they have a, a special request section for $25. If you purchase that, they'll ask you what colours do you like, uh, would you want in your sheet, what thickness, and then if you want it matte, if you want it shiny. But what, this, is, this looks really thin. So, um, neutral. So, really nice white. Very thin as well. I think this is the paper I use for Camellia's Phoenix. No, Pegasus B3. Just simple white. God, this paper's building up. It doesn't have. Yeah, it must be this one. It doesn't have a, a tag on it. 
So the custom feet that I asked for, which is stunning. And that is oh, the um, Worcester as well. So this is it right here. I think this would be perfect for a nice fish. What, what do you think? This is so beautiful. Are you able to see the shine in this paper? Oh, this is beautiful. This is absolutely stunning. And the thickness is really nice as well. Is that I think I asked for a really light blue with hints of darker blue and shades of blue and then a touch of black. I'm pretty sure that's why I said uh, I asked them for. Oh, this is stunning. Oh, wow. Um, I am in love with this. 100% um, in love with this sheet. So once I cut the square for this, um, I'm going to add a few sec sections of this into my collection, my portfolio. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. <laughs> um, that's prized. Oh, I forgot to put on my gloves. Oh, I was supposed to make it nice and fancy. I'll do that for the next one. Yeah, I'm going to open the next one as well. Why not? Let's get the whole thing unboxed. There we have the Aztec Gold. What would, what would this be good for? Aztec Gold. Wait, let me turn off, turn off this camera for. Okay, yeah, or just not because I was over the 30 minutes. Aztec gold. A nice light gold. Gold slash yellow. What do we have not another white? How many did I get? Pearl white. Okay. No, I think this is the one I used for Camille's uh, Pegasus. Pearl white. So another sheet of pearl white. Stunning simplicity and beautiful. Yeah, luster as well. Okay, right there. Um, organic paper is on the list to buy when I start working again. Uh, be beautiful but seriously expensive. That's why I stick with tissue foil organic shop as my standard go-to paper for lost designs. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's what you expect when you buy custom papers, um, handmade papers, the time it takes to obviously come up with the recipe, um, the time it takes to make a sheet, to figure out the colourings, everything involved. Yeah, it's definitely expensive, but it's, it's completely worth it. It's the high-end paper, 100%. But definitely get some sheets if you haven't already. So the luster, the pearl white. So get, make sure to go and check out the website, it's linked at the top of this description box in the video. Again, I'll add it in the comments when the video fully uh, publishes. Um, yeah, so make sure to check them out. Buy some paper, you'll really love it. What do we have here? We have the Deep Ocean. Uh, most not lost, oh, <laughs> awesome. Uh, very nice camera, what size paper for this model? What size? Um, the camera I use the iPhone Pro 12. Uh, to stream, take pictures, etc. And then my Sony A7 III for filming. Uh, I'm not really, I'm not decided on a model or size for any of the sheets yet. Again, stunning. Okay. So parcel one has been unboxed. <laughs> Number two. So let's re read some comments. If you've got, if you've got any questions, uh, pre please ask. I said please. Please ask uh, before I start the next one. Or I'll, I'll, I'll go through what I haven't read already. Um, mine is the Fiddler Crab by Satoshi Kimiya. Uh, for your, your favourite model, I still have Shuki's. Trichinotosaurus to complete, really need something around 89 centimeters. Yeah, it's definitely doable with like 60. Uh, I wouldn't go any thinner than 60, uh, uh, smaller, unless you're like real experienced or 
you have the, the perfect thickness of paper for it. Um, I feel you Grant, I, I always buy more paper than I need, my drawer is full now. Yeah, definitely, like my wardrobe, um, like just say this is my wardrobe, I've got, I've got three, I've got three sections to it, can you see this one here? Yeah, I've got like one section, two and three. Uh, one and two has paper all over the top and then it's, uh, it overlaps down. So the front of the wardrobe. So I can open, I can open drawers one and two. Massive. There's so much paper overlapping. I can only open three. And I need to lift up the edge to open up number two. So I haven't opened up number one in like two years. I don't even know what's in there. Yeah, definitely. But yeah. The amount I've spent on paper is in the thousands. Thousands and thousands. Easily. But it's my passion, I love it. Um, I'm lucky enough to say I can do that. Um, yeah. yeah. I don't like talking about money, etc. and things, just privacy reasons. But yeah, I spent quite a lot. Um, I got the new Jen Hagawara book in the mail yesterday. Did anyone else order it? Also not yet. What's your favourite paper? Um, I don't have any favourite paper. It's hard to say, they're all unique, they're all good in their own way. Yeah, I don't have any favourite paper. So parcel number two. Um, so if you've just joined, if you haven't saw the start of the video, parcel number two, because parcel number one took so long to arrive, um, they were very generous enough to say, hey, we're going to send you out another full batch, another full set of paper um, to make up for the time it took to arrive. And then I said, no, please don't, oh, wait, why is it loading up Siri? It's not allowed to click anything. Okay, I think that's fixed. So they said, um, well, so I said, I mean, I'm happy to pay for it when it arrives. Then they said, no, do not bother. Uh, you don't need to send it back, which I also said. Um, so they're very, extremely generous, very kind of them to send out a second parcel, a full order as well. Um, so it's extremely, extremely, extremely kind of them to do that. And please make sure to check out the website, buy some gummy. Definitely do that. I mean, I don't know any people that would actually do that. Send out a full other complete order. Uh, just a thought, it might look good for Lang's Koi with 500 scales. Which one was that, Nick? Well, I'm not keeping up with the comments. Um, I like biotope paper. I, I've, I've never used that before. I don't actually have any biotope. Okay, and I just saw that this paper is taking up half the screen. Right, let me do this off camera again because it might have just on it. So the difference with this order is as the oddballs. So I was more than happy to accept that. I did message them saying no, I'm very happy to wait another month to see if the first parcel arrives. And then if it doesn't arrive, you, um, they can send the second set of oddballs, which uh, this set. Of course, the first one never arrived uh, after that month. But yeah, extremely, extremely kind. I mean, I was more than happy to pay for this, but they didn't want it. Um, so they're going to get unlimited shoutouts and shares everywhere. I agree, make a nice koi fish. With, is that with the, the custom sheet, this one? Is that with that one? Yeah, definitely, definitely a fish, it must be, yeah. I'm definitely a fish for that sheet, 100%. And that's why I was going to originally decide like a, a sand color for a camel, but then that just came in mind. It's beautiful, that. So these are the oddballs. Now the oddballs in their section are sheets that they made that didn't turn out as good as you'd expect. Maybe some sheets have some slight tears or uh, a lot more uneven thickness than normal. So that's why they are discounted and that's a good thing as well. Um, Nick, you were saying that they were very expensive. The oddballs are near enough half price. Well, it's $20 for a full sheet. 
and then as $12 for an oddball, you get the same size sheet as you do a normal sheet, but near enough half price, it's $2 more. And if you ever thought about getting some Ogami, uh, try out the oddballs. I'm gonna make sure my address is the yeah, invoice. So the oddballs are full sheets, maybe slight differences in thickness, but wow. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't. Um, I got the right jacket. I, yeah, super jam. I've tried Biotop, but it's okay. Not crisp enough, complex and sex, in my humble opinion. Yes, I've never used it, so I'm not really sure how it will work. I know uh, a lot of people use it as well. Maybe I should get some to try it out. So if you if you're thinking have you been thinking about getting oddball sheets, then definitely get the oddballs. Um, that, uh, yeah, you know what I mean. It's cheaper and it's good to try. So again, really nice deep ocean. I don't think it says oddball on it, but you can tell this this isn't as smooth as you would expect. But I can cheat this. To get it back to normal. So again, it's thinning as well. It's still super crisp. Oh well, they made a second sheet of custom. They should not have done that. They should not have done that. Oh my god! Oh, I'm so keen. Yeah. I agree, mate. A, a koi fish. So Lang's Koi Fish with the custom sheet, I mean, I've never made that before, so I'm not really too sure on, on how to make it yet. Now um, let me see, where can I put these papers? Oh, I'll just need to pile up. Then I can't see the chat. Um, I wish there was an option to get Ogami sheets pre-cut into squares. Yeah. Um, that's the thing with paper, uh, buying paper online. Not everything comes square, and you don't you don't worry too much. That paper isn't square. I mean, if you if you're using it for a box plate model, then a, a, the a perfect square does not matter one bit. But if you're using it for like twenty two point five or something close to that that doesn't use a grid, then hundred percent. Uh, you need to. You'll need a, a square that is cut as close to perfect as possible. But yeah, don't worry about perfect squares. And even when you buy supposedly perfect squares from, from websites, they're not perfect. The amount of paper I bought over when I first started, I bought a square, I folded the diagonal and it doesn't line up. I mean, it's you'll get used to it eventually if you, if you buy from a lot of places, but... Again, I think this is the stunning second custom sheet that they made. They should not have done this. Um, well, yeah, I, I can't express my gratitude for doing this paper circle. You are extremely kind and generous and you do amazing work. So thank you so much. I'm gonna put in an excellent word everywhere for you. Um, gold is a, diff a difficult color to select. By its nature, it's not lifelike. Maybe something like Lang's Flying Grasshopper as an ornament. Yeah, gold as well. Is that, like that one there? Yeah, Aztec gold. I mean, I could have used it for the Infinity Gauntlet, but it, maybe it could. It needed to have been more golder, more more darker for that. That's an option. Again, the whale blue. So you can see the difference, if you can, that the, oh, what's the word called again? I forgot the word, but, and they've got wee, tiny, tiny, tiny circles on the paper. Unnoticeable, unless you look really close. Oops. Can you, pick, can you see them out, the wee, tiny circles? 
But yeah, that's the, the odd balls. So the odd ball has three tiny circles. Well, just on that sheet that I've noticed, I haven't noticed on the other ones. Uh, what's a good, um, what's a good origami stag beetle? There's loads, literally, there's quite a lot of stag beetles. Lots of different difficulties. Um, it just depends which one you feel like doing. Uh, yeah, the Koi base design is in the origami de design secrets. The scales are added as an exercise. Yeah, I remember seeing that. I, I have the book as well. So a nice, this is a midnight black, I believe. This is the pearl version. You can hear the difference. It's not as much shine. So definitely, if you want to try out Ogami for the first time, go for the odd balls. They are near enough half price. It's extremely worth it. And again, if you can treat paper, if you feel you can make it a bit more crisper, um, you can treat it as well. I don't know, but where are we going to put all this paper? Um, Lorenzo, I've spoken to Paper Circle and they will cut to square for you. Will they? Well, I never knew that, really. That's cool, that's neat. Yeah. Yes, I spoke to them about off cuts, half price. I'm still wait. I'm still have to wait until I'm working. Awesome, Nick. Um, yeah, definitely. Give give it a shot. Get a few sheets, even just one, to see what it feels like. Maybe even get one odd bottle, one normal sheet, and then you'll be able to tell the difference. And then, of course, budget wise, you can decide what uh, what you like, what to go for. So it's stunning. Um. What paper do I need to make? I need a uh, koala paper. So, grey and, grey and black. I need... So I could possibly use... No, that's maybe matte. What one's this? The walnut. Maybe those two for the koala. But I'm st it's still in decision progress. The model is on my list to make, but... It takes a while to, to figure out uh, what paper to use. Or create for it. Look at this. This one here has got speckles of green fruit. So we have midnight green. Luster as well. Very crispy already. Wait, it's not speckles of green. See? Can you see the difference? I mean, that looks stunning as is. Are you able to see that? Yeah, you can see that fine. So that shows you the difference in thickness. So right here, you see no green. Right here, you do see green, so that's why it's handmade, that's why it's uneven thickness. But it's, it's so beautiful as is. And if you back if you back coat this with cream, you'll get a real unique sheet. And the colours will come through even more because the, the layers will be compressed. It'll look so nice. So the midnight green is definitely a, a nice sheet to try and uh, back coat with something. Why is it called back coating? I've never used that word. I don't know why I started to use it. Yeah, Wesley, there are loads of stag tape, uh, paper designs, depending on your level. Yeah, there is loads. There's lots of them. So the spring green, super green, spring green, super thin. Again, beautiful as well. One little what in your paper but it's stunning and the good thing is it's the same on both sides it's not one side is shiny one side is not so you don't need to worry about color changes if anything yeah i can roll this paper up from this angle I should add ASMR in this title. That's just it's, it's exactly what it is. Yeah, wait there. Um, I'd be too nervous to ever use such a paper. Yeah, yeah. It's again. It's just. It's, it's, it's finding the right model. That's exactly what it is. If you can find the right model for one of these sheets, and then it's no problem. And um, of course, make sure it's one that you feel comfortable doing. And if you've got the experience for it. 
then it'll work perfectly. So terracotta. So I definitely need to use this for something. And again, even if you get a sheet like this that has maybe a bit of, it's a bit, a bit bashed, you can treat it, retreat it. If you feel comfortable doing that, you can treat paper and you can uh, fix these sort of things as well. Thank you for joining Lorenzo. Um, thank you for joining. Um, what do you use to for test paper? Just um, craft paper. I don't have any on me. Um, if you go back to the previous video, the Aladdin shaping, that, that paper, that's what I use for testing. Some sort of craft, either coloured or white. Something that is uh, extremely cheap and I can afford to lose. So light terracotta. Again, the oddball, still, you can see the difference in thickness from this angle. It's so unique. I had this really, really cool idea. Um, I don't know if I should do it or not, but... Um, so you all know the, the tw that 24 karat gold powder paper I made. I was thinking maybe I should buy another one gram of that gold send it to Paper Circle, get them to include it in a custom sheet. They send back, I pay for it all, and then how you have the, the coolest paper ever. I mean, I've been thinking about that quite a lot and it's, it's really it's sounding like a good idea. Um, I may need to message them to see if, if they can do that. Because I don't know if the gold powder will affect their equipment or if they'll be able, able to clean it, etc. I think that would be um, extremely unique. <laughs> I, would, I, can, I can hardly read the chat from you, all this paper. Um, have you seen Drew Haskett's uh, new fish design? That might be a good idea. Yes, I have seen it, but I don't think... I mean, I, get, I kind of could. I've got so many sheets. Um, Grant, do you know how to create your own papers? Um, not from scratch, because I, I like to use um, create, then make. I, I, Normally I'd say I'd make my own paper and then people would go, what, you make it from scratch? And then I'd be like, oh no, 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 I do this, I do that. I, I like to say I create. But yeah, I know, I know the process, like the, the paper pulping and the mixing and the, the cooking, etc. But of course I don't have the equipment. I would have nowhere for that. And I'm not experienced, I don't have the full knowledge on that. But I ha have the, the general idea of how it's done. This is going to fall in a minute. Um, let me see. Right, kids, uh, need feeding. Fabulous selection and video, Grant. Many thanks. Uh, th thank you, Nick, for joining. Thank you so much. Um, how did you? Uh, how long did it uh, did you take to make the origami Aladdin Storm Rage? Um, I need to check back on my pictures on my phone. Let me th uh, I, I I'm not sure. Um, I need to get back to you on that. Uh, a few months probably from it testing and reverse engineering the crease pattern to figure out how to shape parts. It took quite a while that. But uh, yeah, quite some time. Espresso. So for those that have just joined, we are opening up the second unboxing and this is the oddballs in this section of Ogami. Again, the odd balls are half price and they're still extremely unique sheets. Still very crisp. Wait, is that the perfect colour for a koala? This one right here. This is ringing, this is ringing koala right here. I just put it on a, I just put it on a nice black. 
And then we have we have koala paper, a duo Ogami koala paper. That is singing koala. Because when you get black on it, it will have a really nice rich black fruit. I will make it darker. the weather like in Scotland it's, uh, it is, it is very warm at the moment like from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. It's, it's extremely warm like like warm warm like you, you, you could Sunday you know near enough yeah this is definitely definitely a koala paper this must have been meant must have been meant a nice black on this and there we go it's got that koala fur texture, the feel. Um, some parts are darker, some parts are thinner. Of course, the thickness in paper as well. And the good thing is you can't see through the colours on the sheet. So if I did put black on it, which I will, um, you won't see black coming through this side. So yeah, koala. I need to decide what black to use. For that sheet uh, to stick. Oh, wait, wait, wait. yeah. I think that I think that would look stunning. I think it'll look very nice. Yeah, it's all falling down now. Put it on this side. Um, uh, yeah, looks so beautiful. Your papers. Thank you, Hacktan. Yeah, they're they're a very a very very amazing to have and hand on be able to finally use a lot more. My favourite paper is tissue foil. Hack that I've never made tissue foil before. Never made it. Not once in my almost 10 years of golden have I ever made tissue foil. So we have the deep forest. Now this is this is very thin. Very thin. Very crisp as well. That will definitely need to be retreated to give it that little bit of extra oomph, little bit of extra strength. Yeah, I can't pull from this angle. I'm running out of space. Wait, how am I going to put this? Yes, I am reading your messages. I'm just slowly getting to them. And we have two more. Let's just get rid of these. Don't need these anymore. Super crispy for an odd ball sheet. And then the final one. Oops. As another Aztec gold. So I could basically make a larger sheet of Aztec gold if I needed to. Again, so stunning. So yeah, that is it. Um, wait, I'm gonna move this chair. Let's bring all the paper in view. Right, I'm just kicking this everywhere. Um. Wait right there, everyone. I need to find somewhere to store this upstairs. I've already got like zero space. You should see this, uh, the sheet I'm making at the moment. Can't wait to show up. But so many people. 
Can you have too much paper as the question? So this is by far the most beautiful sheet. If you want to go back to the video where I show this, this is the custom sheet that they made. 100% using this for a fish. That's so beautiful. Yeah, I definitely was not expecting it to be that good. It is that good. They've met my expectations completely. So if you've got any questions, please ask um, before I end the live stream in the next few minutes. I need, I need to get so many pictures of this. Wait, was that the one? Yeah, it was, yeah. Neck is the sensor. Or was it this one? No, that wasn't that one. Yeah, that's just, that, that, that's all you can see on the screen. <laughs> Yes, how are you? I am doing great. Thank you very much. Um, uh, let me see. Yeah, I just answered that one, yeah. Rain Park is from America. Yeah, we have met. We are at the, the Oregon USA in 2019. Oh, it was so good. I, I wish we were there. That was the last year. We cancelled. Covid wise. Oh, what's that called? Oh, what's the, the, the sheet I just showed? The, the custom sheet? I watched the videos of this channel in France at 9pm. Ah, uh, you are one hour ahead of me, you're in France. Wow. Why are always the good colours uh, so expensive? Wait, why are always the good colours on, ex on expensive pay? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, just everyone has their own their own setup, their own, their own way of doing things, their own secrets. That's why you know, people, people do everything different. Everyone that you see that makes paper or creates it from scratch does it different so much. I love that paper, I love that sheet so much. So definitely get your hands on some Ogami. Um, let me see if I can turn it around to be there. One minute, everyone. Oops, I have no space. Ready to see this angle? Look at that. I am from the Netherlands. Yeah, I had my gloves the whole entire time, but I never used them. Um. Yeah, how many sheets have I got here? I need to count them all at some point. It was also definitely much less than I expected. Uh, what I thought, but I got loads. About 40, probably. Wait, how, how do I see the comments on this? Cancel. Oh yeah, I just scroll down, that's it. Yeah, Raiden, if you were talking about that sheet, that's the custom sheet. Um, obviously on their website, Paper Circle, um, you'll have the option to buy a sheet or I think it's called a special order uh, for $5 more. Tw $25, uh, $25, you will you'll purchase that. They, they will email you um, basically asking what colours would you like? What thickness? Do you want it shiny or not shiny, matte? not matte and then you just let them know and then they'll make it and it's beautiful it is so beautiful it is unreal yeah i need to plan out a good model for this definitely it's your birthday today happy birthday um satvik happy birthday everyone wish satvik a happy birthday um am i pronouncing your, your name correct hopefully hopefully i am um i am from europe i live in france the Netherlands, grant your papers is a very beautiful, thank you. I love collecting papers as well. But yeah, that is it everyone. Um, I'm going to end the stream. Any any last things to say? 
You're welcome, Satvik. Um, yeah. Did I pronounce your name correct? Satvik. Hopefully I did. I'm always terrible with names. But anyway, that is it, everyone. I'm going to end the stream. Thank you all for joining. Um, it's been the first stream I've done in over, over a month. Over one and a half months. But yeah, that is it. Thank you all for joining, everyone. I will see you in the next video.